What do you need to know? I'm talking about what do you really need to know? Sometimes you think you need to know about this or that or the other thing, but I can tell you one thing. You need to know what is going on in the realm of the spirit. God is speaking to us prophetically. He is showing us what we need to know. He is speaking to us through the prophets. We need to be praying for the prophets and we need to be praying unity, 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 and that they're speaking an accurate word for us, helping us. But you also need to be studying yourself and praying yourself. And I've told you this scripture before, and we'll tell you again. <laughs> Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. Hello. That would be a good one for right now, right? We can pray that one out. <laughs> All right. He gives wisdom to the wives and wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Verse 22, he reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness because light dwells with him. All right. This is how it works. Secret things. You got to know secret things. Genesis 1, chapter 1. He said there was chaotic. There was darkness upon the face of the deep. Got it? So what did he say? Light be. And you can use the word light. You can like use the word truth. Truth be because it's the truth. John 8 that sets us free. The truth that we know that sets us free. So here we have something. There's something in the dark. Do you, do you have an idea of what is going on? I mean, they're revealing things now about all this child trafficking and all of that. We're hearing things about all kinds of stuff that's coming across the border. And then we have that Chinese balloon thing running around here. God is revealing secrets. He wants us to know things because he wants us to say light be. Daniel 2 says that he reveals secrets because light, he is light. He is light. He's the light of men. So then we look over again. We've already done this from Deuteronomy 20, 29. It's the secret things belong to the Lord, but the things that are revealed belong to us. We need to have things that we know right now that we know that we understand that belongs to us. And so i got so many scriptures here. And we're going to go back to Proverbs 25. Let me, let me find 25. Oh, my. So the key is... 25 verse 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the glory of kings, you are our king, he's king, kings, and lord of lords, to search out a thing. It's your responsibility to search them out. It's your responsibility to pray. It's your responsibility to say, Father, what do you want to show me? What do I need to know? And praying in the spirit and with the spirit, the Holy Spirit, because he searches the deep things of God. And as you're praying, then, and you start praying with your understanding. A few days ago, I was praying in tongues. I was driving somewhere and I was praying in tongues. And I thought, wow, I can pray in English because I understand exactly what I was praying in tongues. And I begin to know things in the spirit realm. God wants us to search those things out. Listen, the prophetic thing that's happening, we're right on the edge of either the nation going down the drain or us rising, rising to victory. Well, we're going to rise to victory, but it's going to take you and me. We can't just like sit at home and eat donuts and drink coffee and go, well, whatever, you know, God's going to do. He's telling you what to do. He wants you to know things. He wants you to pray out things and he wants you not to go to the sorcerers and all that, that junk. We're talking about going to the Holy Spirit of truth and knowing the truth. You need to be prepared properly spiritually, emotionally, financially. I'm, I've been yelling this thing since 1991. I've been saying the same thing since 1991. We've got to turn this nation around and you're the key. It's not just me. It's not just a handful. And it's not just the prophets. It's all of us. We've got to get lined up and say, God, what are you saying to me today? This is how you can make it easy. Every morning, take at least five minutes and go through these scriptures and go, what do I need to know today that I don't know? What do I need to do something about that I'm not, I'm just kind of oblivious to it and I don't even know what's going on. What, what, do, you, what do I need to take care of today? I mean, I've heard of people that lost all kinds of money on their, their uh, stock market last year because they weren't paying attention. Hello, wake up. Say I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. I want to make sure that you're paying attention. 
And you need to join me in some of these classes because God is revealing things to us that we need to know for today. God bless.